Today we are talking about evolving skies. There's some stuff happening. You guys can see on the chart right there. We're going to dive into all of it. But first, I just have to show you guys something real quick. So I just got back from Japan and I spent most of my budget on this guy. I was open to picking this up in a PSA 10 and that's what happened. CD promo Charizard PSA 10 has been acquired. Japan was amazing. I'm going to have some more Japan stuff coming later. Um, but I got to get some videos out because unfortunately I just got here and in less than 24 hours I have to get on another plane and fly across the country for a wedding. But that is where we are at. So I am extremely jet lagged. It's morning time in my mind, but I am here. I should be sleeping. But we need to talk about Evolving Skies because while I was gone, uh, some stuff started happening. Um, Evolving Skies ETBs up 22% in the past three months and 24.5% in the past month alone. Now we knew this was only a matter of time and we, th we figured the ETBs have to move up at some point, right? But um, yeah, that's, that's a big jump. So um, we're gonna take a look at some of the other stuff uh, singles, sealed, we'll get to it. Um, like I said, I apologize if I am jet lagged. Also, my mind is like partially in Japanese. Um, yeah. Rizadan. Um, Rizadan onegashimasu. All right. Um, Umbreon, the Moonbreon, 10%. Look, it's shooting up. We had a bunch of sales right here. 11 sales, which is the most on the past three months. And... 14% in the past month alone. This baby is approaching a thousand dollars. And and check this out. Look at these recent sales. Oh, this was a PSA 10 copy. <laughs> um, but right here, nine nine nine. So the uh, the Moonbrion, the Moon Kitty is on its way up, back to a thousand. Um, so you guys may be asking, are all the are all the alt arts going up? Uh, we're getting there. It's not exactly the case, unfortunately, uh, which is kind of to be expected, right? The Moonbrand's an, an exception. Um, built in battle boxes, 30%. They're up 30% in the past three months. You could have had this for 68, and now they're going for 88. Um, but last solds, this is honestly higher than this. This chart has not updated yet. $95 um, last solds. And in the past month alone, it's just 4%. But that's still some good gains. 54% um, in the past year. Could have had this. Looks like it's low as somewhere around here. $54. So evolving skies and doing evolving skies things. Next up, we'll take a look at the booster box. Of course, we have to. Um, it's actually on the three months down a little. Um, it went from 701 down to 630. And it's approaching that $700 mark, but we'll get into the recent sales. Um, almost 2% in the past three months. We'll do the one year just for funsies, up 65%. Could add this for four fourteen. Um, last solds though, we're seeing above 700 on the very last sold, 725. So expect this to crack that $700 mark pretty shortly. Um, not everything, not everything's not everything's moving, okay? Um, singles are coming up, I promise. Um, sleeve boosters, looking good on the three-month chart. Had a big run-up right here. Looks like probably a buyout. Somebody bought 178. Um, ran up to 25, but now they're down to 20, which is still a pretty good gain in the last month. Down 6%. Over the last year, 83%. That's wild. You could have these for under $10. So, uh, big gains there on the uh, sleeved boosters. Now we're going to get into some singles, take a look at them. This is going to be, unfortunately, somewhat of a common theme. Got the Sylveon V down 21% past three months, three almost 4% in the past month alone. Still showing positive gains, up 35% over the past year. So, I mean, you could have had this for sub 50 and it ran up to almost 100, and now it's at 72 which after those big explosive gains, if it real, if it comes down around here, 35% solid gain. So if you bought at the boom, you're down, but if you bought anywhere in here, you're looking real good. We had the, uh, the Leafeon V alternate art, 
sit down 17 and a half percent sorry i am my brain is just not here today I'm doing my best holding it holding it holding it strong um it's bouncing up a little bit um off of these in the last month um from 70 up to 72 so a little bit of a gain and same same chart right 40 percent uh on the past year could have had this for 45 ran up to 95 and now it's looks like it might be stabilizing around that 70 dollar range so um that is good for the leafeon and yeah 72 74 last sales then we have the glaceon down almost 30 percent on the past three months it's still declining another six percent in the past month uh when your chart looking similar 30 percent overall cracked a hundred dollars it's low was sub 50 and now we're at 66 so we'll see how we'll see how it'd be interesting to see how much some of these fall and where they stabilize dragonite uh unfortunately one of my favorite cards from the set uh did pull this on the channel um so that was cool uh down 14 percent and but it looks like it's rebounding up five percent in the past month alone so it went from 134 up to 141 so um it dipped around 126 so it looks like it's this this card is looking better i mean it kind of makes sense because i think that this is one of the better arts personally so to see this up 58 percent could add it for 89 and it hit its peak at almost 200 189 hovering around 140 so pretty solid there honestly um for the dragonite but we actually have a 150 sale in here so we'll see where this averages out then we have the little moonbrion the umbreon v down 20 percent past three months down almost seven percent the past month alone still showing the huge gains overall uh 76 percent could have had this for as low as 80 or as high as almost 200 and it's hovering around that 140 so um seems like it's once again leveling out a little bit i mean even if you bought at like 150 and it's down into the the 140s it's not horrible um it's still declining maybe a little we'll see we'll kind of see where these cards end up um the rayquaza is not being hit quite as hard currently eight percent in the past three months and most of that coming in the last month eight percent in the past month pull out the one year 35 percent gain super super great gains could have this for 69 or as high as 150 almost and it's hover, hovering just over 100. Um, we do have some last solds here at 92, 91, but 105, 130, so it's 100 seems about accurate. Then we have the Espeon. This is down 4% on the past three months, and it's, it's bouncing back a little. It's coming up, um, up almost 3% in the past month, 42% over the whole year. Hit uh, 114 was its high. Looks like its low was around 56 and hovering in the $80 range with some sales above. We got 92, 94. So, um, yeah, this card's having a little, it's holding steady in that 90, $90 range. It looks like, so it looks like this may be the current bottom for this card. We'll see. Then we got the big Rayquaza, the V max, um, only down 9% in the past three months and having a little bit of a bounce back up 4% on the past month. And 65% gains, which is huge. So could have had this round two, 240. Ran up to 500, and now it's hovering around 400. So um, not letting very much of those gains go. So if you guys have got into this card, this is super solid. Seems to be holding up very well. Then we got the Leafeon VMAX down 20% in the past three months and it's still kind of on the decline this card seemed like it maybe was a little bit high in my opinion um yeah so down another nine percent um but still showing crazy solid gains on the one-year chart 81 percent 143 you could have had this card for and it went for almost 350 oh three f in the 350s that's wild um yeah here's the last solds 270 260 so um that seems about accurate but where this will bottom out we don't know but it seems like it's it's it holding strong ish then we have the glaceon v max down 26 percent almost past three months nine percent in the past month so this card is continuing to drop still um so you might want to wait if you're looking at picking up uh these you know this card or some of the other ones with similar charts 
Could have had this for in the 130s, went as high as 317. And now we're in the 230s, so. And last sold 220, 230, so. Um, we'll, we'll talk about what, what I kind of think about all this and stuff in a second. We got one more card, but the Sylveon, which is a stunning card, by the way. Love all the Pokemon in the background, love all the extra Eevees. Um, down 18% past three months. It's kind of leveling out on the one month chart, just a little, it's barely down. And then on the one year, super solid 47% gains. So could have had this in the 120s or as high as 270. And at 190 with, let's see what the last holds are, 188, 190. So yeah, that seems about accurate. Um, so what we're seeing is a lot of these cards, uh, it's not just in involving skies, right? Um, big run-ups, huge run-ups, and then they're coming down. They have to come down. They were too high, too inflated, too fast. It makes sense. Um, the market can't sustain like that uh, crazy rapid growth. So, um, but what what is good to see is that they are leveling out well above their previous lows. So that is what's looking really positive. Um, a lot of people who bought on the uptick, you know, they're not looking so hot um, price-wise but that's just kind of something that happens. Um, the sealed product, so this is what's interesting. So we see the Moonbrion going up, we see the sealed product going up, and I, I don't know how high the Moonbrion is going to end up going. That's kind of an anomaly, but the sealed product is just gonna slowly keep chugging and chugging and chugging. Um, so if you're looking to pick up, uh, get into evolving, as, as with everything I ever really recommend, sealed. Booster boxes, ETBs. Um, booster boxes, uh, like, just clarify. Booster boxes, in my opinion, and booster box cases are always the best. Um, I don't really do ETBs uh, personally. There are always a, are exceptions for specialty sets, like 151, or for crazy popular sets, like Evolving Skies. Um, any sealed product, typically, not any, most sealed products pretty much can only go up for the most part, over time. And so if you're getting the better of the products, that's what you wanna be doing. Um, but that is gonna do it for this one. It's a little shorter today, but I am back, sort of, just for a day. Um, I'll try and, I'm gonna try and keep pumping these out. I'm gonna bring the laptop again when I travel. We'll see, there's a lot of festivities going on. So I'm gonna try and get these videos out for you guys, but um, thank you so much for the support, the channel. Um, I was uploading while in Japan, but the channel kind of fell like off a cliff a little bit. Wasn't super thrilled about that. Um, didn't think it would fall off so hard. Um, we'll see what happens after I upload this video. But uh, we are back, hopefully, and then definitely starting next week, I'll be like full back. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for the support. If you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously enjoy the content I do. Well, I, I missed, but I usually do daily Pokemon um, collecting and investing videos so if you're interested in that uh, make sure you subscribe i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase <laughs>